Now, Galileo was the first astronomer to turn a telescope on the stars. And uh, before that, we only had naked eye observation. Of course, the, uh, the elders thought that... Uh, you Not long after Lippershey's discovery, a very observing scientist named Galileo saw the moons around the planet Jupiter. On other nights, he observed these moons in different positions. So he knew that Jupiter has a family of moons traveling around it. These observations led to the hypothesis, the third step in the scientific method. This means deciding what you think is the answer. Galileo decided that if Jupiter has a family of moons, the Earth might not be the center of the universe, as people in those days thought, but merely one of the planets, all of which travel around the sun. An earlier astronomer, Copernicus, had formed the same hypothesis, but Galileo's observations made it much more certain. Bless my soul. I don't see why I keep you around here. Of all the numbs. Here, look, I found it. Senior Galileo Galilei. His eminence, the Grand Duke of... That's not it, you idiot. That was written more than two years ago. <laughs> One can find a new star in the heavens sooner than find anything after you've had your hands upon it. But I never touched any of these things. You told me never to I told you them. nothing of the sort. We've got to get a new system around here. Don't sit there with your mouth open looking at me. Find the letter. You're stupid. Don't mind what you're doing, you'll tear my gown. Good evening. Oh. Leonardo, get some chairs for the gentlemen. Signor Galilei, we're of the Senate. Indeed? From the Senate, you say? Uh, won't you be seated? I understand that men of science are very methodical. Your method of filing your papers is... Unique, to say the least. Oh, it's a very excellent system. I put everything I have on this table. Therefore, when I want anything, it must be here. But I can never find it. <laughs> <laughs> Signor Galilei, I have the honor and the pleasure to inform you that in recognition of your services to science, the Senate has awarded you the Chair of Science at the University of Padua. My, my thanks to the Senate. The position carries a salary of 1,000 florins a year for life. 1,000 florins for life? Do you know what this means to me? With that spyglass, I have mapped the heavens, chartered the courses of the planets. With this money, I will build a real telescope. It's a 300 years ago. Galileo Galilei, you have been found guilty. And the decree of this court is as follows. You shall renounce the heresy of your teaching. You shall repeat the seven penitential psalms each day. You are to be a formal prisoner of this office for the remainder of your life. Do you recant? I do. Do you curse and despise your crime in teaching that the earth moves and that the sun is the center of the universe? Do you? I do. Many centuries later, however, 
an astronomer named Copernicus said that the sun only seems to set in front of different constellations. He said the sun doesn't move at all. Instead, the earth moves around the sun. His reasoning may be illustrated in this way. 